Welcome to this video on searching for music scores in the library. This video will introduce you to searching and finding scores in the library. I'll give some sample searches in the library catalog and you will see how to find both printed and electronic scores. I'll discuss some of the challenges that come up when looking for scores and how to troubleshoot them. In this sample search, I'm going to demonstrate how to search for a score when you know the piece that you're looking for. So in this example, I'll be looking for Beethoven's composition for Elise. Some important information that we want to note about this piece is that uh, it's a, actually a dedication. The official title that Beethoven gave this piece was Bagatelle Number no. 25, and we also might want to note that the piece is in A minor and it has the catalog number W0059. To do a search for a musical score, you're going to go to the library homepage at library.usask.ca and click on the library catalog button uh, at the center of the page under the main search box. Once you're on the library catalog page, go to the advanced search button. And this is where we are going to compose our search. For scores, you're going to want to enter the name of the composer as an author. And on the next line, enter some keywords or two about the title of the piece. And on the second line, I am going to search for the title of the piece for Elise. And the last thing I want to do is limit by material type, so I'm going to scroll down until I see the musical score option. And uh, the reason why this is important is because uh, if you don't limit to just musical scores, your search results are probably going to fill up with sound recordings. We have a lot more sound recordings in the library than we do scores, and so the scores will easily get lost in your search results if you don't limit the format. So after we've entered our two search terms and we've limited to the format, I'm going to click go and this will take us to our search results page. You can see for this search I got two results. I'm going to click on the first one and uh, which will show us some important details. So first of all I just wanted to point out that this is actually a compilation of Beethoven's pieces. The name for Elise and any of the title information is not contained in the title of this work. Uh, if I scroll down, however, to the contents, I can see here highlighted in red my search terms for Elise, W0059. And so I know that this work is contained in this compilation. If you wanted to get this item from the library and you want to pick it up, you can click the request item for pickup button at the top of the page and then enter your NSID and password and follow the instructions from there. If you want to do this search again to see if you've missed anything, uh, you can do that using the modify search button at the top of the page. And this is an opportunity to do the search again using slightly different search terms. I'm going to keep the first part of my search the same by entering Beethoven as an author. And then on the next line, instead of uh, the popular title for Elise, I'm going to enter the catalog number W O O. 59. This is a unique number that was applied to the piece after Beethoven's death. And then I still have the material type highlighted, so I'm going to click Go. And you can see this time around I have an additional result that's shown up. I can tell that this second item is an electronic score. And instead of saying it's in a physical library location, it says electronic book. Um, I know this isn't an ebook though, because right next to that it says the format is a musical score. I'm going to click on the title of this item. And again, I can check in the notes for this catalog record. I can see that the catalog number is W0059, and it's in A minor. Both of these things tell me that this is probably the piece that I'm looking for even though the words for Elise don't show up anywhere in this record. In order to see the electronic score, I'm going to click on this blue link at the center of the page that says connect to online version. This takes us to the electronic score. And if I'm familiar with the music, I can tell immediately that this is the piece I'm looking for. 
you have some options for how to use electronic scores. You can use them right from your browser window, or you can print them by clicking this print button at the top of the page. If you want to cite the score, these details on the right hand side of the page give me a lot of information and you're going to need to use that information to cite the score. Another option is to use the cite button at the top left hand side of the page and if you click it, it will take you to a page where you can cite the score in the style of your choice. These are automatically generated citations so you may notice some errors or some things that need to be fixed in order to complete the citation, but this is a good starting place. So this example of searching for Beethoven's piece for Elise uh, highlights some of the challenges that you might encounter when you're searching for music scores in the library. One of the big issues with searching for music scores is that the titles of musical works often include many different descriptors, and also uh, the way that published scores are produced, they don't always include all of these descriptors. Um, this is also complicated because a composer might be writing in one language and then the publisher might be producing a score that's meant for a different audience in another language. And so sometimes you'll find scores with a German title, sometimes with an English title, and uh, the way you're searching will impact whether you're able to find the scores that are available in the library. Okay, the next search example I'll show you is an example of how you would search for a single piece of music that might exist within a larger work. And the example I'm gonna use is by Schubert. It's an aria titled Gute Nacht, and it's from the Winterreise song cycle. Winterreise means winter journey. This particular piece has two identifying catalog numbers, D911 and Opus 89. Again, when searching for music scores in the library, I'm going to suggest that you use the library catalog. The link for this is on the library homepage. And then I'm going to go directly to the advanced search. Uh, you may start your search for this piece, Gute Nacht by Schubert, the same way you did with the Beethoven. I'm going to enter the name of the composer as an author, and then I will try the name of the aria that I'm looking for, and I'm going to limit to musical scores and click the go button. You can see at the top of the page it says there is one result found and it's this Baron Writer score that's located in the Education Library. I want to check and make sure that there aren't any more editions of this piece so I'm going to go back up to the top of the page and modify my search and this time I'm going to search for the whole song cycle that this aria comes from. Search for the Winterreise song cycle. And to keep it simple, I'm just gonna search for Winterreise. And I have musical score selected and I'm gonna click go. So you can see that this search got a lot more results. We got eight results for this search. And it looks like some of these are compilations of leader, Others are scores of just the Winterreise song cycle. When you get a number of results like this for the same piece of music, uh, you want to ask yourself what kind of score you're looking for. And so I suggest considering the format of the score. Do you need a printed score or an electronic score? Um, do you need a particular edition? And do you need a particular format in terms of the printing? For example, do you need a miniature score? Um, do you need a full score for performance? These are all things to consider when thinking about what kind of score you want to use uh, for your research. So this search example demonstrates another challenge that people will sometimes run into when they're searching in the library catalog, and that's that uh, music scores are packaged in various ways. Some music scores come as a single work in one bound volume, and others are compilations of various works in one volume. And 
sometimes the way that the title appears in the library catalog doesn't necessarily tell you what works are contained within that publication. And so that's why it's really important to uh, not just do your search, but click on the title of the items in the catalog and um, figure out what the table of contents are and what works are contained within each volume. So just to recap some of the uh, tips that we discussed in this video about searching for scores, First of all, when you're searching, keep in mind some of the key pieces of information about the title of your piece, uh, including whether it has a popular title, what title was given by the composer, uh, the key of the piece, and any unique information like a catalog number or the instrumentation. Second of all, when you're composing your search in the library catalog, you want to keep your search term simple. You only want to try one search term at a time, and if that doesn't work, modify your search and try a different term instead. Third, uh, when you are searching, you might want to consider whether the piece that you are looking for is actually part of a larger work or a larger set of works. For example, is your piece part of a song cycle, as in the Schubert example? Is your piece part of a larger musical or an opera? You might also need to try searching for a larger genre, for example, searching for Beethoven string quartets or Mozart piano sonatas. Sometimes you'll find that we'll have a score that's packaged as a compilation or including multiple works in one volume. And so the best way to get to the piece that you're looking for is looking at the larger work and then narrowing down to see if your piece is contained within it. This video introduced you to some of the challenges that you might encounter when searching for musical scores, some tips for how you might make your searching a little easier, and a couple examples of how to search for print and electronic scores using the library catalog.